sharing the stories of women you will see in this year's Susan G. Komen More Than Pink Walk. All month long, it's our series, Why We Walk. And tonight, we're introducing you to a woman changing the face of metastatic breast cancer. You'd never know Lori Nelson has stage four metastatic breast cancer, and she'd like to keep it that way. Our Christina Lori has her story. What does a woman living with breast cancer look like to you? I think people are shocked. They're all like, oh, you look great. Odds are Lori Nelson does not fit that image. And I'm thinking, what am I supposed to look like? She's part of a growing community of Madison women fighting and beating the disease, even though they'll likely never defeat it. The timeline as of then is about half, half the people live two or three years. Uh, or less, and half people live longer than that. Lori is now part of that second group. She's been living with stage four metastatic breast cancer for three years. I like to call it stable Mabel. In 2016, she found a cancerous lump on her breast that spread to spots on her spine and her hip. So we just kind of proceed until cancer gets sneaky and moves around. The drugs I'm on it. She takes two pills, forms of oral chemo, to keep her cancer from spreading more. Side effects aside. Fatigue, um, nausea. I just think my energy level isn't what it used to be. They're saving her life. They say that with all the research and things that are out there now, that it's almost, it's not quite like if you were living with diabetes or something like that, but it's that same kind of management of medications and things like that that you can just kind of proceed with life. Dr. Mark Burkhardt helps women like Lori manage their metastatic cancer through his work at the Carbone Cancer Center. The future is better than the past. We can only give you the timeline of what happened to the people 10 years ago. And among the people who live longer than that, there are some people who live very much longer. He's now trying to understand why and how some Madison women are surviving 40 years after their initial diagnosis. We think if we can understand how they have survived so long we can develop strategies to help other women survive longer the problem there's not enough local survivors that's why Burkhardt is expanding his longevity study looking for more participants nationwide we're interested in a future where there's a what we call a precision approach where we can better predict for each individual whether a medicine we're going to give them is going to be effective three years Post-diagnosis, Lori is living her new normal. And in my mind, it's I already have it, and it's not ever going away. It's not ever going to change. It's only going to get worse um, someday. For now, she's not letting cancer consume her mind or her body. I try and keep it in its space in my head and um, just try and live life. You can find her and her living with Lori team at this weekend's More Than Pink Walk, working to make treatment options more accessible for the 6% of women who, like her, are fighting stage four. In small ways, we're, we're there already. In other ways, we're a long ways away. Taking each day as it comes. It's hard to make something like, oh, in five years. I have yet to be able to make a plan for five years. Um, just because my I don't think my head lets me. A lesson we can all learn. Nobody knows when they're how long they're gonna be here. So, you know, I've got a, a sentence to me at my name, I guess, but I'm not ready to give in or so she'll keep on living, loving, laughing. That's why I kind of went with the stable Mabel. I was Steady Freddy, but then it's like I'm not really a guy, so I should go with the girls. <laughs> and I like Mabel. Changing the way you think of women living with breast cancer. This year will be Lori's third race for the cure. Her team, Living for Lori, has raised more than $2,000 for the race so far. Well, if you'd like to help her team, head to our website, channel3000.com, for links on how you can donate. If you'd like to participate in the walk this Saturday, you can still register for that as well.